Earlier in our town hall special, virtual special, Brian Neiman, we had Dr. Carol Cortez, the infectious physician uh, over at GBMC Healthcare. Dr. John Chassar, the president and CEO of GBMC. Last segment, Dr. Timothy Doran, pediatrician, joining us right now is Dr. William Zirkin. He is emergency department physician, and also he was the first recipient uh, there of a COVID-19 vaccine. How you doing, Dr. Zirkin? Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Good to be on. Let me ask you, Dr. Zirkin, as it relates to uh, you and, and your staff getting that shot, what has it been like for you? Have you had any adverse reactions, or what do you talk you know, with your folks about in terms of you actually getting the shot? So the first, I, think I got the first shot four weeks ago, and uh, that one really almost no side effect. I got the Moderna shot, a um, little headache, um, not otherwise nothing. Um, I got the second shot actually yesterday, and... Uh, a little, my arm is sore. I'm a little tired, but it's it's uh, not a not a big deal at all. But you you're the first one, boy. <laughs> That's gonna make you feel pretty good. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I, it definitely. I was excited to get the get. I was excited to get it. It's been a long, you know, it's been a long uh, long road, and and uh, pretty pretty excited to have, to have the shot. And then I guess in a couple of weeks they say the uh, the immunity kind of kicks in to its fullest. So in a couple of weeks I'll feel really good about it. So I know you've been through so much, right? I mean, obviously, an emergency physician, I mean, that, that, of what you have seen and you're always worried about, am I going to get it? Am I going to get it? It's funny because I went to my dentist not too long ago, and he said he was actually emotional when he got it for the first time. I, just walk us through how, you know, how it's been like for almost a full year of, you know, walking that high wire and not have a net and of hopes of not getting it and just, you know, praying that, you know, you've done all the right things to avoid getting COVID and then to get the shot. Yeah, no, it's, it's when it first started back in, in March, it was, you know, really a lot of unknown and, and, uh, and just kind of scary from that standpoint. And obviously you wanted, it was challenging and it's exciting as an emergency physician, you kind of get excited to, to take on these challenges. On the other hand, you know, there's, there's that extra fear factor of getting it yourself. So, so which you don't normally think about as part of your practice. So, yeah, so I think sort of everyone has their own routine and I, you know, me, I would come in, I leave a mask on the entire shift and uh, an N95 and, and then I, I go out to the parking lot and bring a change of clothes and I change, get, get down in my underwear and change, <laughs> change into a totally different set of clothes. So I, just in case I was exposed, I don't want to bring it home to my family. So I, you know, I have, and then I, as soon as I get home, I, sort of run to the shower and, and get in. So mm. it's been like that for 10 months. And, and this, you know, I'm not sure that it would change completely with this because, you know, you still, I guess, could still drag it in on your clothes. But it's 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 a scary thing. On the other hand, you know, it's been kind of great sort of learning along the way how to how to take care of these patients better. And, and I think we've gotten pretty good at sort of learning how to avoid getting it in the in the clinical setting at least the best we can. Dr. William Zirkin is on board with us. He's an emergency department uh, physician with GBMC. Brian, for over 20 years, he's been there with them now. Dr. Zirkin, please compare, as I've heard from other physicians, compare what you've seen with COVID-19, you know, throughout your years at, at, with other diseases. Because some doctors are just like, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I think, I think that's true. I mean, you along the way in the last 20 years, you, you know, there was things like swine flu and, and uh, you know, other other diseases that, sounded like they were going to be really awful. And I mean, swine flu was pretty bad, but it just wasn't as deadly and it didn't cause such chronic effects. So uh, th- this is really a unique problem because it, it, it's so contagious and, and it's so prevalent and, and you really worry that you can, that you could, I mean, in addition to the patients, you worry about it yourself. So it's a, uh, it, it's a, it really has been a completely different clinical entity from, from my standpoint. It's just a, it's scary and you kind of, but you, you know, you, you have to do your job and you have to, you know, do the best you can for your patients. Yeah. Where, where is your optimism level? We talk a lot about this on the show. You know, we hear some other people say we got, it's going to be maybe an ugly next six months because of all these different variants. Where is your optimism level where we are right now with COVID and especially with the vaccines now on the market? You know, I think we're starting to see a little. I think we're starting to see a little bit of a plateau and and a slight decrease now in the in the number of cases. It's, it's it, at least it seems that way. Um, and if you look at you know you obviously do a lot of reading on these things. Um, you know, as as more information comes about it, you know, in Israel it sounds like who they, when they've done a lot of vaccination, mm-hmm. they, those cases really do seem to be decreasing. So I have to think as the population gets more and more vaccinated that 
God, you just got to hope that things are going to come back to some semblance of normal over the summer, you know, by the summer, or hopefully, I don't know, who, who knows, I, I don't know, I don't think I have any greater knowledge about it than 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 a lot of other people, but I just got to be hopeful that this is that this is moving in the right direction. You know, they do call Brian uh, Baltimore, small to more for mm-hmm. a reason. And while Dr. William Zirkin, it's great to have you on board. I happen to know somebody else with kind of a name like yours. He used to be in the state <laughs> Senate that uh, recently retired, a certain Bobby Zirkin. Uh, that's your brother, right? That, that is my brother, yep. Huh? Oh, okay, just, 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 you know, like I say, small to more. I, I do have to ask you, that, Dr. Zirkin, when it comes to the issue of, of where we are now, a lot of people are saying we should be in an educational mode as well as a treatment mode. What are your thoughts about how we need to educate people at this stage, now 10 months in, where we are? So I, I, I agree with that. I think, uh, I think physicians in the community, and I think and there's going to be a lot of other people in the community as well, you know, athletes and politicians and, and, and other celebrities and whatever. But people really need whoever. I know a lot of people listen to a lot of different, a lot of different sources for, for what they what they're going to do as, as an influence. And I think we need to educate people that, that, you know, at least we went and got a vaccine and, and that we, we did well with it. And I mean, for me personally, I, I tell you know, patient, people I work with who might be a little worried about it or, or patients that, that I couldn't wait to get the vaccine. I think it's part of our job to, to, to try to educate people that, that the vaccines, even though they're pretty new, um, that they're, that they seem to be safe. They seem to be eff, uh, efficacious and, and that, uh, you know, obviously you don't tell people what to do, but, but you can just say, I couldn't wait. To Go get, get it. it. And, right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I, you, Dr. From Zarka. my standpoint, I couldn't wait. So. Great Thank to have you, so you on. Thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. And best of luck down the road Th- too. 